Hi and welcome back. In today's video, we will talk about usage of pivot tables in project management. In here, as you can see, I have a list of a project's activities, the location for each project, the cost for each activity, the percentage completed for each activity, and so on. And if I'm going to find a specific activity among these activities, it will take a huge amount of time and won't be so efficient. So let's get started and let's see how pivot tables help us in filtering the data in the right way. In order to create a pivot table, first of all we should convert this data into a table. To do that, click anywhere inside the table and then press Ctrl and T. If you have headers in your table, make sure to check this part. Then click OK. So now our data will be converted into a table. Now let's pick a simple layout for our table. Now in order to convert this into a pivot table, we can click this button, summarize with pivot table or go to insert and from here we will click pivot table. Next thing that Microsoft Excel asks is that whether we want to insert our table into a new worksheet or an existing worksheet. We will click the new worksheet and click OK. So this screen will appear before you. Now we have different ways to create our pivot tables. I will bring the activity name under rows, the duration under values, and the cost under values as well. Next thing I will bring the location under filters and I'll bring the project under filters as well and the percentage completed under values. Now since this is cost, I'll change them to currency. I'll select all of these and then I'll go to, I'll click currency from here. I will remove the decimal places and since this is the percentage, I'll, I'll click this cell, control shift down arrow key and next thing is to click the percentage so as you can see this will be in terms of percentage this will be in terms of cost and so on so now using the pivot table for example i want to see only the activities which will take place in the united states so from here from the filter i'll click the united states and click ok see only the activities in the united states will be shown in here or maybe I can go, for example, and click Afghanistan from here. So as you can see, the activities which take place in Afghanistan will be shown in here. Their costs and everything will be shown. For example, the total cost for activities inside Afghanistan will be $18,199. US I will remove this filter. And for this one, for example, I want to see only the activities related to project number four. As you can see, these are the activities in project number 4, the duration of these activities, the cost of these activities, and the percentage completed of these activities. So this is how you can use pivot tables for presenting and showing your project information when you're dealing with a lot of data. So using the pivot tables, I can filter and see only the necessary and the required data and information. If you enjoy our content, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and following us on Instagram and LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.